This video shows the similarities between humans and chimpanzees' DNA. To understand the DNA in spatial context, we start our journey with a human finger showing the relative size of a centimeter. Now we zoom into a drop of blood no larger than a millimeter. Now we zoom into the drop of blood to reveal red and white blood cells smaller than 10 microns. Now we zoom into a white blood cells showing details like the dark nucleus where the DNA is stored. In the nucleus we can see the dark outline of one of the chromosomes that contains a portion of the human's packed DNA. To save space, DNA is packed in dense hierarchical coils of the DNA strands. On closer inspection, we can see the individual strand of DNA in its coiled storage. DNA is the body's building code written in adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine letters, which are colored here as they will be shown later in a side-by-side -side comparison of chromosomes. Humans have 23 chromosomes and chimpanzees have 24. Human chromosome 2 appears to be a fused form of chimpanzee chromosomes 2a and 2b. With fusion, humans and chimps are chromosomally identical in number and very similar in chromosome size. Now we will begin the comparison of the human and chimpanzee genomes similarities in detailed architecture. The data is provided by the NCBI websites Entrez Genome, FASTA Genomic Files, including the Human and Chimpanzee Genome Project's datas. First, a bird's eye view of the first nine chromosomes for humans and chimps, showing some major reference points. All of the chromosomes of different length are still similar in length between the two species. Now we go to the beginning of the first nine chromosomes of humans and chimps shown side by side with chromosome 1 on the left through to chromosome 9 on the right. If we take a close-up look at the start of chromosome 1 and 2, we can see how they are similar on a fine scale level with their matching stripes of the DNA's ACGT colored bands. Chromosome 3 and 4 show similar banding matches on close inspection. Chromosome 7 and 8 also show similar fine scale banding matches. Now let's look at the next window of these nine human and chimp chromosomes. Centering on chromosome 3, we can see more matching DNA landmarks sharply. Chromosome 8 shows matching stripes here. Chromosome 1 and 2 easily show matching passages of DNA code. Now let's look at the next window of paired chromosome data. Chromosome 6 here also easily shows long passages of matching detailed DNA code with red stripes of adenine plus cytosine concentration, green stri stripes of guanine concentration, and blue stripes of thymine concentration. Even thin lines and textures of the two DNA codes match between the two species.
Now on to the next segment of chromosome species paired code. On a side note, the full color view shows the combined concentrations of ACGT in the DNA code as shown here. With color filters, we can see the bands even more clearly for just adenine and cytosine concentration. Here is an image for guanine alone. And finally, thiamine, each map showing a great striping similarity of code characteristics between humans and chimpanzees. When these three maps are combined, we see the DNA's data we have been looking at. And now let's return to the main chromosome map. Now to get a general overview of middle scale architecture, we will skim the data showing the middle scale similarities of chromosome data, band for band and stripe for stripe, showing great similarity in DNA code structure for humans and chimpanzees. Now there are spots where the genome projects could not consistently read the data, probably sections used for gluing DNA together or centromere locations. There are also small gaps in one or the other species code where one species or the other acquired a burst of new DNA that the others didn't develop over evolutionary time. Here we have a special landmark of where a chimpanzee ancestor's chromosome 2A and 2B fused to make human chromosome 2. Now to the next section. At this point, the shortest of the chromosomes, 9, ends similarly for both species. On to the next chromosomes segment. In this segment, chromosomes 7 and 8 end for both species. On to the next chromosomes segment. In this segment, chromosomes 5 and 6 end quite similarly patterned for both species. On to the next chromosome segment. In this segment, chromosomes 3 and 4 end for both species. And now we finish scanning the two longest chromosomes of chimpanzees and humans, 1 and 2, fused for chimps, showing remarkable banding similarity down the DNA codes. Chromosome 1 ends quite similarly for chimps and humans. And finally, human chromosome 2 and chimp chromosome 2b end quite similarly. This concludes the comparison of human and chimpanzee chromosome similarity for the first nine chromosomes.